Good day everyone. So for today, we will going to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. So how are we going to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using discriminant? So discriminant. So let us start by defining what is a discriminant. So discriminant is the radicand part radicand part in the quadratic formula in the quadratic formula so if we have a quadratic formula say x is equals to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so the discriminant part here is the radicand part so the b squared minus 4ac okay so this will become your discriminant Okay, so let us denote the discriminant by D, capital D. Okay, so now, how are we going to use this discriminant to characterize the roots of the equation? So, let's say we have a standard form of the quadratic equation AX squared plus BX plus C is equals to zero where A, B, and C are real numbers and a must not be equal to zero okay so we just need to uh, use the discriminant to characterize the root so how so let us uh, using discriminant okay so for number one okay so, if your discriminant denoted by D is greater than 0, so what does it mean? Okay, so it means that uh, you have two real and unequal solutions. Okay, so two real and unequal solutions. So, let's talk about real, no? So, what is a real number? So, real number can be classified into two. So it could be, okay, so it could be a rational number or an irrational number. Okay, irrational number. Okay, so again, rational number are, rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed in the form a over b or simply say uh, can be expressed as a fraction whereas irrational number uh, these are the numbers wherein it could be non uh, repeating or non terminating decimal like for example square root of 2 square root of 11 and pi is also an irrational number okay so another uh, key takeaway here is if your d Okay, so another, just write it down here. So if your D, okay, is a perfect square, so you will have a rational solution. But if your D is not a perfect square, okay, so not a perfect square, so you will have an irrational result okay so that's it for your d is greater than zero how about okay so for number two okay so how about if your d is equals to zero okay so if your if your discriminant is equal to zero that is um you will have only one real solution uh, one real and okay so let's add real and equal solution okay so again you know what is real it could be rational or irrational and at the same time equal solution so just take note here that if your d is equal to zero, you only got one 
solution. Okay. Then the next one is, what if your discriminant is less than zero? Okay. So if your discriminant is less than zero, so it means that, okay, so you have no real solution. Why no real solution? Because if your discriminant is less than zero, it will become an imaginary number. So imaginary number are imaginary numbers denoted by i. Okay, so letter i. So that's it. That's uh, that's how you're going to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation.